Here comes another one, 20 Fast Eight. I'm home to a quarter of a million plants. The UK's largest accessible walled garden, 154 acres, here it is, of greenery. One of Europe's biggest gardening projects opens today after a year-long delay. Yeah, this is RHS uh, Bridgewater. It's the first of its kind to be created in an urban environment and has been four years in the making. And John Maguire is there today. And John is only about seven miles away from where we're sat this morning. Morning, John. Yeah, I was thinking that exact thing, you know, when we had that cross to Portugal a couple of minutes ago. Who needs to go to Portugal in the Algarve when you've got this within about 10 minutes of where you two are sitting? Opens today. Uh, people have to book online, as you do with these things these days, of course, for uh, the next couple of weeks. Certainly look at these beautiful beds of tulips. And what this site has done is it's retained a lot of its history, a lot of its links with the past. So you've got these wonderful sight lines. Uh, the chimney breast that you can see in the distance there, that building behind is called the Boffy. Uh, and that was where the boiler room was that heated the greenhouses because uh, and for the large stately home that was on this estate many years ago that garden over there was the kitchen garden it's that link with the past but also the present and indeed it's doing a lot of good work for people's futures This is what a quarter of a million new plants look like. That's what it's taken to create the Royal Horticultural Society's brand new garden, RHS Bridgewater in Salford. Due to the pandemic, it's opening a year later than hoped, but in that time, so much has changed. This has been the best surprise yes. Yes. that we could have had. Absolutely, Absolutely gorgeous, brilliant. This group has been coming here to the wellbeing garden on doctor's orders as part of prescribed therapy. But lockdown has seen them effectively locked out. Today, they're back for the first time in more than a year. Absolutely amazing. Fantastic. This time last year, we was all covered in mud. And then the pandemic hit us. And... Yeah, oh, it's really yeah, transformed. Yeah. The last time I was here, in fact, we were working over that side there. We didn't see any, any of these flower beds here or anything, but I tell you, that's looking very nice. Beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. Been, been Absolutely waiting gorgeous. for this day since shut down the first time. So <laughs> it's... Oh, inspiring. Brilliant. It's, yeah. absolutely it's absolutely brilliant. Gorgeous. And to be part of it is even better. The 154 acres was once a grand estate owned by Lord Ellesmere, a wealthy industrialist, but in recent years was neglected and became overgrown. The house, Worsley New Hall, is long gone. There are formal and walled gardens that reflect the site's heritage, but Bridgewater has another role. Very much with, with this garden, rather than us putting up a fence and inviting people to come in and pay a fee, and have a cup of tea and be inspired and do all the beautiful things that you can do in, in a, as a garden attraction. It's much more than that. There are links between us and the community. We have a community outreach team which goes out and takes horticulture to the community, but we're also inviting people in to work on site as well. So it's a very two-way street and a symbiotic relationship that doesn't just have a fence around the outside. And this is that ethos in action. Here in the community garden, various groups from Salford can come here, work, garden, or just relax in a safe space. It's a place for people to just come and relax, get their hands dirty. If someone turns up here one day and doesn't want to do any gardening, that's completely fine with me. We've got benches all around. They can have a wander around the rest of the garden. I really want people to feel at home and relaxed here because that's what community growing is all about, really. It's, it's about just getting involved and, and doing what you want to do. <laughs> One of the groups involved here is Salford Loaves and Fishes, a charity that works with homeless and vulnerable people. It's Mal's first visit, and he's very impressed. I'm loving every minute of it. Can't believe that you. I mean, I'll be coming every week now. Oh, will you? Yeah, I will be coming every week helping out. That's no problem at all for me. Much has been made during the pandemic of the benefits to mental and physical health from fresh air, green open spaces and gardening. 
so Bridgewater's arrival, albeit later than planned, will be very welcome. They've spent £35 million rejuvenating this site, rescuing it for the local community. As I say, not only to maintain that link with the history, but also the present as well. We're in the community wellbeing garden. I wanted to point out a couple of things here. Look at these circular beds. Now, these are dementia friendly, so that if people become disorientated, for example, it's a circular bed, so they can't get too lost. Again, some uh, wonderful plants here, some uh, ornamental uh, types of onions there and some uh, tulips too. We're going to come round and uh, find out more about the wellbeing garden. Morning. Morning. Azichi, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. Tell us what happens here. Tell us about the magic that takes place in this place. Well, this is a wellbeing garden and uh, this is where people who are referred to us will be coming and they will be taking part in the gardening here, like maintaining the plants that you see. Uh, there's a variety of activities in gardening that you can be doing, but we'll be also growing vegetables here. So these boxes that I've got here, uh, we'll be planting all sorts like potatoes, broad beans, peas. So people will get a variety of gardening uh, activities that they can transfer back at home. Um, so it will be learning, exper experiential, practical gardening, um, and also socialising through gardening with others, uh, working as a team and getting things done throughout the seasons. That's an important aspect of it, isn't it? Thank you very much. You're getting your hands good dirty, getting your fingers in the soil. And these planters, as you can see, these raised beds are at different levels. So, for example, for wheelchair users, uh, they're a lot easier to access. We can say good morning as well to Andy and to his wife, Mo. Hi, Hello yeah. to the both of Hello. you, Andy. We saw you come back here on Friday um, with the other people from the group and were blown away. What does this place do for you? It's it's broad my horizons. It gets me out of the house on a, on, a, on on the workshop days. I can get into I can get into the garden, get my hands dirty without worrying about being too strenuous for me. And as yourself, I can I can easy easy work on the gardens just by going round each each one in, in time. And what is it about <clears throat> coming here? What, what what what? How does it make you feel? What is the difference? Do you it's think being being housebound? And, and due to, to my illnesses, it, it's great. It gives you something to look forward to. And I've even started having my own little, little garden, which before I'd never even thought of having plants in the garden. No, I know you can see it makes a real difference. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, my garden was just like shrubs, dug them up and Andrew planted lots of uh, plants in troughs and in the soil uh, and he just completely transform the garden good for the yeah, garden, yeah good for absolutely him, good absolutely for yeah it's, it's good for his mental <laughs> well-being yeah and it's very colorful the garden is now you know it's done him a world of good coming here you know having the people here he can chat to and as each has been amazing you know she's been really good with him and all the people that come here as well it's it really benefited him coming here right. but i'm out of his shell Thank you both. Thank Good you. to see you this yeah. morning. Thank you. Uh, keep up the good work. Looking forward to Friday already, I'm sure. Yeah, so uh, a beautiful sight. And as I think we've been uh, hopefully pointed out and hopefully described this morning, does so many different aspects, so many different things. Uh, and of course, the garden's all new, the planting's all new. So that will grow and that will flourish in years to come. But also with its connection to the local communities too, those sort of links will grow and flourish in the years, the decades ahead also. OK, that's it from us at RHS Bridgewater in Salford. Now time to cross to our newsrooms across the UK for the news, travel and weather. We're your watching breakfast this morning.